Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Catch Up and today we're in Portland with Garth Williams. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Still like a trouble. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm very good. You're doing very mm -hmm. good. How you get so tall? We are eat. No, no, them put foot, um, fertilizer on my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Last, when we got it, showing up on the same height. I'm mean, a skinnier. It was beautiful. We both were. <laughs> But TV makes it look big. <laughs> That's what she... That's all okay. I'm saying. That's all I can say? It's all right. I'm going to behave. We are going to behave. Garth and Nakia can literally be in an episode and behave. How long do you think it's going to last? <laughs> let's try it. Let's, let's try let's, let's go for it. All right. How long is the episode again? <laughs> no, all right. Come. First, first thing I ask everyone is give us like a 30 second high level in terms of from graduation, like high level milestones from graduation to here, to now? Um, we'll go to university, we'll find woman, <laughs> we'll get to a youth, we'll do a whole heap of work, um, we'll start my own brand, um, ta da, the end. Yeah. Yeah? I think that's You're it. Really? Yeah, only person who stick to the high level milestones. Look here, man. That's the high level milestones look like. <laughs> Jesus. So, what's your location now? All right, so I'm based in Kingston. Um, so, like a travel, like it's a base. That means yeah, you're. Yeah. Right. So, all right. So, over the past <clears throat> years, um, I've lived outside the island. I've obviously lived outside of Westmoreland as well, in different parts of the island. Um, mainly in Kingston, though. But I operate now mainly from Kingston um, because of what I do now. What do you do now? So now, uh, yeah, there's this little thing called Tie Her With Food, which is a budding um, catering and events company, which started out of literally nothing. It's just me idling at home, deciding to post some stuff when I'm cooking on a Sunday. Um, and then uh, would, well, normally I, t I cook for my wife. Um, which is why it's called tie her with food. Yes. Even though I know that's why I'm a guitar. Um, she did just kind of run out of options. <laughs> she feels sorry for me. I just said, boy, all right, you know, um, you look like a good youth. I'm a boss him. And yeah. How long have you been married now? This year, this year, October makes five years, but we've been friends for about 14 years. Wow. And then lovers slash everything romantic. Um, but I don't know, about 10 years. Wow. Yeah, so um, that's pretty much what's up. But so I have a communications uh, brand, um, a small company called Corporate Services Jamaica. Um, and coming out of that are different types of things. So what, it re what the company actually offers is a suite of business solutions for small businesses that don't have persons on their payroll to take care of legal, HR, digital marketing, social media all management, yeah, all that kind of so stuff. So you make them focus on what they're good at. Right. Their and core then, competencies and you... And I just chip in um, with all the other support services. So, wow. But I don't offer them personally because I have to be like some kind of genius to manage all that kind of stuff. We skillset. do connect. Yeah. So I have friends who are accountants, uh, tax specialists, lawyers, um, HR specialists. Really? Yeah. So my network is pretty wide it's pretty vast it's pretty diverse yes. um if you need help with immigration whatever it is like you can just just page me <laughs> make a help to find anything you want um you know a guy i know a or guy a uh pharmaceutical <laughs> drugs narcotic drugs um <laughs> Uh, bail bondsmen, because if you ask for the free previous two, you might probably need so much bail. Uh, criminal lawyers, uh, civil. Wow. <laughs> uh, engineers, architects. No, I'm serious, you know. I like, no, like real thing. Like, if you want somebody to do something, like you have a business yes. and you need You'll some, connect them to the solution. I will find you that person. Wow. At an excellent price. So, somebody, um, so what's the best way to contact you, though? Um, 277 <sighs> Um, <laughs> yeah, no, but I'm easy. No, but I'm easy to find on Instagram. Um, is it Gart Williams or, or Tire or with Food? Oh. Both. So both. I have a personal, a personal, um, and there's a brand. So there's O Garth O H G A R T H, and that uh, uh, that's intentional because you can say that in so many ways. Go ahead. <laughs> 
I promise I'll be here at least for the first 10 minutes. All right, fine. And then <laughs> I'll bet Sarah. Yeah. yeah. Um, Put the kids to bed. Go ahead. I know, right? I'm going to watch this <laughs> before 10 o'clock in the night. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, <clears throat> so I've got that corporate brand. And then there's the food side of it now, um, which I'll incorporate under, under it. Um, now I cater for small events, so like um, bridal showers, baby showers, small birthday parties, um, your Sunday dinner, like your family dinner, if you have like a, a, a big, group. Yes, a, a family group, reunion like, type thing. Ooh, it depends on the size of the family, because right now I, I, I operate alone. Um, essentially, my wife and my kids are my sous chefs uh, <laughs> when I need, that, need their help like that. But I cater for any group under like, 20 or maybe 30 you know um and you and enjoy it i love it cooking cooking i'm a little thing so you've done other professions before this yeah so i spent what the better part of 15 15 or so years in media yes um as a producer as a broadcaster um yeah production and, and presentation have been my mm -hmm. my mainstay um and a, as as a journalist as well too um because there's that side of it um i've done pr so um, I'm a bit of a communications specialist, um, a speech writer, a voiceover actor. Um, so I voice a lot of commercials. Shout out to Jane Bank. Um, <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of. I, I got a Isn't it so funny that you went into me. that field, but you were in the sciences group with us? Yeah, by default, that's my mother. God rest her soul. I only did the sciences because of mommy, and I swear to you. Because I'm telling you. So I, fortunately, and I, I, I don't know, but. I've I've been blessed with a fertile mind, so if more want to learn something, we'll learn it. If you force me to do something, if I'm backed into a corner, you're paying my bills, for example. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but let's work with him. Let's do do what's necessary. Um, <clears throat> so my mom, um, for most, all right, hold on. Before I even go there, for a lot of people who knew me at Mannings, this is going to be quite a revelation. They would not have known what I'm about to share with you. You would not have known what I'm about to share with you as well. So, um. I did know my father, right? Um, but because of the circumstance around my birth and everything, um, we had to just kind of keep it hush. You know what I mean? Um, and as a result of that, like, I don't know, I was, I, in a way, kind of boxed into a corner by my mother. So what she wanted, though, for me as her only child was to follow in the footsteps of my older siblings, because I'm the youngest of all my siblings on my father's side. Um, and I don't have my father's last name either. That's a different, 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 different something that, right? But I just couldn't get my father's last name because of the whole situation. Um, mainly church related. Um, and people from church who, well, I think by the time my dad died in 2004, it was some of those people who came to the funeral. They were like, oh, snap. I saw it really set up. <laughs> this is a huge, huge secret, huge surprise for a lot of people. But most of them were old, so they died anyway. So it's whatever. Um, and then Daddy did done dead, so then can't punish him. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of hypocrisy in that place. Anyway, not that church in particular, but church in general. Anyhow, um, sorry, church people, you're probably pissed off right now. Anyway, uh, <laughs> um, you can't cut that out. Uh, I won't. <laughs> That's another episode. All right. Yes. <laughs> but <clears throat> because of that, though, my mom wanted me to follow in their footsteps. So I have two siblings who are surgeons. Um, I have two siblings who are into the more business type uh, operations, so economics um, and, and accounting. Um, those two siblings are dead. Um, the two medical siblings are still alive. One's in Canada, one's right here in King, but not right here, but in Kingston. Yes. Um, so mom was like, no, but I do no business subject and uh, I was go turn doctor and surgeon and I said, oh, but I'm not too deep on something about you. I said, nah, do it. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Um, so I did that. I did the whole math, physics, chemistry, bio, whatever. And you were good. Yeah. Um, but I did copy enough. Big up Annalisa <laughs> Valina. Uh, um, and a big, uh, nice handwriting. and she and Kadra, was something Kadra, else, right? Uh, trust me, she was amazing. Clove furs, um, Kadra Faircloth. <laughs> a lot of them bright people there. Eh? Yeah, man. This is what I'm saying about hope you just kind of drink. Yeah, back. right. <laughs> <laughs> As most of you that see the biscuit. <laughs> so, yeah, man, big them up. Them did write nice, so did easy for me. Uh, and Alisa's handwriting um, was, was unbelievable. Else. It's like a font. It's like an actual yes. font on a, on a computer. It's okay. ridiculous. It's crazy. Big up, Anna. Um, yeah, man. You should find her. Oh, we're... Um, Oh, yeah. 
Take your time. In progress. Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> like, you know, some people, let me see you find myself, mm, no, knock you up to something. <laughs> By the way, Buffy, big up. Knock you big up yourself. Me not say to your face. Big up yourself. <laughs> this is a brilliant idea. Brilliant, 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 yeah. brilliant. Um, it's something I thought of, you know, but I was like, Jesus Christ. One, mm -hmm. I'm a little bit out of touch with a lot of people. Um, in terms of, <clears throat> like, just maintaining a regular level of communication. Because um, my circle has changed somewhat. And like Marie Chance, which I know business people from West Milan no more. But things are just different. Understood. Um, and people grow and people change and life happens. You know what I mean? Um, so sometimes when we, we, we're upset at people for not keeping in touch or we feel offended, take a, a little step back and think about it from their angle, not just your selfish angle going, oh, I'm not special to them anymore. Just calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> right and think about it from their perspective and go what could it be that has fueled their silence you know and just kind of try and see if we can get an understanding and the truth is when you miss people when you don't when you're not in touch with people anymore rather than say oh you dashed my way people have a tendency to do that holy even this morning my cuss off one of my friend and found whatsapp like oh you dashed my way i'm like girl bye because you don't you don't talk to me for two weeks you don't talk to me for two weeks. Me not talk to you for two weeks. What I mean, that's your way? Yes. It's not communication because there's two two only can no, receive, call. Sometimes I say, look here. Your phone never call with Tessie. Come on, if you know if your phone can. Make call too. You know what I mean? I don't want your phone oh. you have. I want you, I want you, Mago. I can't manage. Like, yeah. I really can't manage. <laughs> really can't manage. So, but then I'm not in touch with a lot of people. And like, life comes at me fast. And I've always, like, I always want to try different things. I think I'm overcompensating for when I was boxed in like in high school or in my teenage years or my early years. So like now, I'm like, I don't live in a box. If you look at my Facebook, it says I'm, a, I'm born in Jamaica, but I'm a citizen of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I just someone look on it, I said nothing what I can do. Like literally, I said nothing what I can do. Like, like, I just see something, I said, just want to try to something. Yeah. But this thing here, no way I do now. And I said, right, I'm out of touch with a lot of people and I have so much going on. I said, and then I see you just do it. Say just do it and when we see the like the link up and thing like about three years now for come link up and I can't come link up. <laughs> no, let me tell you what I have to I have to make a decision. Do I miss this money or do I come and catch up with people? I'm about honest with you, I love y'all, but I'm not gonna miss the money. <laughs> like summer is usually a, a, a big money making period for me. Um especially then, around that weekend. Yeah, yeah. And then for the past few years, I've worked with Red Stripe, and you know it's it's some fest time. I see. So like that is a, and in a, a yeah element. yeah, and at that my my role there then because I'm no longer at Red Stripe. Surprise! Um, <laughs> my role there then was very critical. So I re I would not have been given vacation time to Understood. to be there. So, but now I'm an entrepreneur. I suppose I can probably do that if I feel like. Um, so and I don't know if I might end up back in a corporate corporate setup and we've digressed so far so let me let's flow. let me come right back yeah so i did the sciences <laughs> went to university did biochemistry and math in my first year mm -hmm. um mommy said if you try off a med school so i try off a med school that worked i did that i got through but me never interested for really take it on right so i think i was so did the cadaver thing yeah, man, we do the whole thing Esther I mean. said no that's the deal breaker yeah, yeah mm -mm. <laughs> um let me tell you what happened though. Like, I just I got fed up of just being told what to do. Yes. And I think because I had moved out of the house, then I could have always, you know what I mean? Yes. Express myself a little more. Um, I started to work, but I get a little one work and thing. So, and it was enough money. By the way, my father is very supportive, super supportive. From even before me know, say he was my dad. And then when me know, when, when I figured it out on my own, and then when the declaration was made officially by both my parents to me. Yes. Um, and since then, he was very, very supportive. Super supportive. So when I was in Kingston, I'm a come university and I said to mommy, I said, well, mommy, you know, so I get through, but I do the med school something, you know. She's like, what? Me not paying no more school fee for you. And I said, calm down. I got this. <laughs> so, but this page, my father's like, yo, daddy, here, what? I don't want to do this science thing. I don't want to do this medicine thing. I do not want to do it. I want to take a year off, discover myself. I'm a really want to do media and communication. Uh. And then he said, oh, so what your mother have to say about that? And I'm like, you know, mommy, I got to about that. So he's like, so what, you need money for a year? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, all right, fine. Wow. Um, 
And what I did was I worked to just make sure that I could stay on campus. So I still registered for a course. Yes. I lived on Chancellor Hall. Um, so I stayed on campus for that year and work a little work and get a little money from daddy when we did need a little money and thing. And then applied for communication. Yeah, Carimac. Um, and I got through. And the rest is history in the making, I suppose. We just continue going along um, the whole thing. So here I am today now, um, what, 15, 16 years into a media and communications career that has now turned me into some culinary uh, gastronomic. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call me, Dora. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, it's because I'm just trying to explore the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Back in Manning School days, we're going to talk about your favorites. Favorite teacher, favorite subject, favorite wow. memory. So let's start with teacher. Who was your favorite, favorite teacher? Favorite teacher? I have so many, and it's for different okay, reasons. Okay, you're not going to no. get two. Two max. Two max. Jesus. All right. We can pick two and then and special apologize. mention and special mention <laughs> others. All right. So let me pick two. All right. Miss Cole. Yes. We used to teach bio. Really? Jesus Christ. I hope you see this. Miss Cole, I love you. I swear to you. <laughs> well, you know I love you. You should know. You should know some of my love. I saw your tone kind of changed. <laughs> oh, no, Miss Cole. Jesus. Let me tell you, like, oh my goodness. she was the object of my affection and so many other boys in high school. So, like, she's sexy. You know, Miss Cole. With a clean, clean brown skin and a round butt there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, I'm a school oh art. I'm a school <laughs> art. I'm a school <laughs> art. I'm not telling you that. It wasn't funny. Jesus, boring. Lord. No, it's, I don't care about her teaching ability. <laughs> her ability to connect with the youth. Who gives a shit? Miss Cole was just sexy. I love seeing Miss Cole. Oh I love God. seeing Miss Cole. My next favorite teacher would have been, for a similar but different kind of reason, oh, let me not block my face with my hands, um, would have been Miss Namard. Do you remember Miss Namard? Yes. Yeah, and she was in cadet. Yes. Yeah, so like a little uniform something there. And one time I said, Mr. Namard, out of our uniform. Not naked, unfortunately. <laughs> um, oh and said, I'm in my 30s, right? Um, but I saw Miss Namard outside of her uniform and I was like, oh, she, so, so she'll go on? No wonder she wear the uniform. <laughs> she can't show that. <laughs> Yo, oh my She was so strict in class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but let me tell you what I'm And I love that, but you could reason with her. She can't, she can't yes. talk with Let me tell you. A lot, I think Miss Namard was a little misunderstood. Miss Namard, yes, she was strict. But for her, if you talk to her, there's a logic behind her strictness because she understands or understood. Yeah. Um, Look here, English. That's, I know, right? Mm. <laughs> but she understood that in your teenage years, in our teenage years, there are lots of hormones coursing through our veins. And as a result of that, you're just the way your brain operates just just the way you think the way you act is not necessarily you intentionally it's what's going on in I your know. head because yes. of all these hormones these changes in your body yes. um you're being affected by the music you listen to the music you're allowed to listen to the music where your teeth out and listen to <laughs> you're affected by the videos you're allowed to watch and the videos mm -hmm. where your teeth and watch you know what i mean mm -hmm. you're being so so many things are are you Essentially, as a teenager, you're conflicted. And especially boys, you don't always immediately recognize who you are. Like, when I look back at my whole life, like in high school and in my early 20s, I was like, oh my God. Like, there was a point in my life I'd try and reach out to people on Facebook or whatever and call them and go, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come and realize I make some serious mistake, I break some heart, I do some, do some terrible things. I mean, I did some great things too, you know. Understood. You know what I mean? But, like, when I look back on some of the decisions that I make and thing and, like, some things I said to some girl and some way me treat some girl I say shit and this is before I had my daughter by the way so yes, like yes. I just kind of look back and I said damn but Miss, Miss Lamar understood that like she really understood yes. that and that is what I I appreciated about her so much and then me tell her how much I did love Miss Lamar I reached third form and Miss, um, Miss Gammon was working over doing agricultural mm -hmm. studies with Mr. Lacan yes, yes 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 before they got married? Before, uh, no, no. They what, got married. Yeah, they must have been get married, but I don't remember if them, the timeline about the marriage. But not for the youth, them did one go to agree because Miss Gammon was over there. Yes. So they must have finally get to look on a hot woman. <laughs> yeah, Miss Gammon did hot too. Uh, <laughs> I was the only boy that did home economics. I'm good, I'm good. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. As the only boy that did home economics. Um, because Miss Namard was the teacher. I still have the pillow I embroidered. <laughs> the pillowcase I embroidered in third form as a, my class project. I got the highest... I, th- I think I got the highest mark. I got like 87% oh, on that goodness. embroidery project. I mean, there are other projects they could have done, but I think I got the highest score in that embroidery project. A lot of people never wanted to do embroidery because it's really difficult. And, and I like to say, yeah, you use sewing machine. Yeah, you use your hand for, for sewing of the thing. So, like, Miss Namard, absolute. Like, sh- yeah. Subject. Um, What's your favorite subject? Hold on, before we go to Sodom, can I oh. give some special mention oh, now? What? You mean? Big up Miss Monroe. <laughs> Special shout yes. out to Miss. So cheating in this know, right? section. Go Special ahead. shout out to Miss Smalling, English teacher. Yeah, she was my form teacher in One Silver. <laughs> Gotta say hi. Um, no, uh, she's probably like, if she watched this, she'll probably scream at the screen because I'm mocking her English accent. Uh. But I did like that. Um, she was pretty cool. And then Mr. Coote, when they teach physics, brown coat, not period. Um, sorry, the other Mr. Coote. <laughs> I could call him period all I want. Period, period, period. <laughs> <laughs> And if you're watching your VIX, get over it. Um, oh, you can't suspend that again. Um, <laughs> um, I've, been, I've been holding so I much back. Uh, I've been holding I so cannot. much back. Um, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, but yeah, them teachers are really, really cool. Let that go. Yeah, I'm over it now. <laughs> Thank you for helping me get over it. Um, but to be honest, though, but really, most of my teachers, them, I don't think there's a teacher at Manning's that I did not like per se. Like, they, were, they were all. I found them all cool. Finish your mention of us? Yes. Subject. Favorite subject. Look here, nobody else now will do this. So no, nobody take this as best practice. Show the episode at last. <laughs> um, <clears throat> favorite subject. I, would, I love math, you know. Yes. I love math. Yeah. So I think when I got the opportunity to do ad maths with Miss Anderson, I really, Ms. really, Anderson yeah, Anderson. quiet little Miss Anderson. Her mom was the piano. Used yes. to teach piano lessons. Um, I really enjoyed it. I wasted a lot of time in her class. And I wasted a lot of time at Manning's. You know why? Because I was bored. Like, let me tell you. I catch on to things quickly. I see. So you're like, I get it. Yeah. And then I'm like, come next. Like, let's move on, <laughs> guys. Speed. So I say, but Admas proved to be a bit of a challenge. And that is what got me about it. It's like, no, I, oh, I, 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 I wish I had mastered it so easily. And I just did not. So I had to be diligent. And in fact, when I started doing ad math, I was a little bit slow. And Miss Anderson used to help me with like some extra lessons, yes. you know, for try, kind of try to get me there and thing. And she saw a potential in me. And she was one of the people that really encouraged me a lot. So I'd, I'd say ad math. Memories of high school. Memories of high school. It's your favorite one that just make you go, <sighs> were the good days. <laughs> All right. Um, this is where... Let me big up some real people. Because all the other ones did fake. Yeah, plastic people then. <laughs> um, Tanasha Lindsay. <laughs> Cecily Gray. Oh my goodness. Georgia Williams. Oh, yes. See them three girls there. Bad influence, I must say. Cool on my side. Especially our Tanasha. Ah. Uh, Pin-up girl by Instagram. <laughs> Oh, hey, you remember I, Yo. you remember I said them in an English class, you yep. some big words. To the school, man. <laughs> some other teacher, you know, so, some inbred in the whole of them, man. I'm a squad, it's a Tanasha. Yeah. You're using all these big words that you really don't. <laughs> don't flow. <laughs> don't flow. <laughs> but it's okay. Just like, express herself. Oh, no, let me tell you. Like, just pairing with them alone. Oh, my god. Did really just make it fun. Um, if I don't think I have a favorite memory, to be honest. Um, I remember... You know, we forget to mention though. No, real people big, are. No, Miss Boyd. If I mention big real people, I mention Miss Boyd. Because, and I think my favorite memories would have probably been in her bio class. In a lab? Yeah. When she gave me one out of ten for me drawing. Yeah, so. Look here, I'm still a whole that. Get yeah, it, no, because we're not art students. <laughs> like, I don't understand. I don't have to can draw it. You tell me now, <laughs> right? Uh, any doctor student right, or doctor where I watch now, you tell me. You don't have to draw nothing? When I, in a the patient come in, the patient come in, you know, the patient come in like here. Yes. Zin. Yes. And have whatever complaint. Mm-hmm. Zin. You tell you ever see your doctor take out one sketch pad and start draw something and say, okay, well, so this is what your heart looks like, and based on what I've heard from your heartbeat, then it means so and so. No. 
So there's never been a point to the drawings. Miss <laughs> Boyd, here we go. It's just a, a bunch of garbage. Anyhow, <laughs> back to Miss Boyd was very real. She was very down to earth, very, very and she straightforward. Knows what she does. Exactly. And she never held back from the students. She never did. And she used to. I said something to her, she pissed her off at one point uh, because of what she thought I meant. But if you take a careful look at Miss Boyd back in the day and Lady Saw, just look at them face. Them look like cousin. Did you tell her this? Yes. So I said it to her and she like and how did she, she was upset. You? Not very well. She was, she was upset. She was upset, but she didn't understand what I meant. Because um, remember now, Lady Saw was raw, char, dance, yes. skin out my wall so kind of thing. You thought she meant the personality, the exactly. image, and, and the Exactly, and that's artist. not what I meant. You mean literally, physical? Literally, physical. they look like cousins. <laughs> they look like cousins. she had a shortcut. You know that? Oh, she look like cousins. Oh my God. Um, but I don't really have a favorite memory. Outside of like them times that we read the osmosis with the egg, and you, you put the egg in the ink, and yes. the ink go in, and the egg come out blue. You remember, you remember that? I do. And we just soak it in our arm. Um, Thing there, vinegar, vinegar. For soak off the, the shell, shell. <coughs> all them and then you eat it. Some of them it start float, right? Something like that, which is a bad thing for an egg. If your egg floats, then um, worried. It's a bad egg. How would you describe your personality back in high school? And I'm going to ask you about how you describe it today. So, what words come to mind about Garth Williams' high school days? Energetic, effervescent, eager, all ease. Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, come use a chat now for making enough trouble. A trouble maker come to my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Bob. Moon absolutely got mischievous because the truth smart, is, super smart. We did try to read a little bit, so we did have a little information you store up. And, you know, <laughs> me couldn't we couldn't take him. He never put enough effort. He just grasp it. Boom, boom, boom. Look here. <laughs> so And get it. Yeah, boom. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, um, super smart. But like the mischief side of things, I think, was just energy that i couldn't quite channel properly you know what i mean understood um you know, i can look back at it now and go boy oh boy you know what i mean you could have done so many things differently it's true when i say youth is wasted on youth is wasted on the young you know what i mean because yeah, really. you have yeah you have all this energy and all these ideas and then you just don't really have no way for it i know man it's somebody have a bad one they have back then girl gymnastic anyways i digress mm -hmm, mm -hmm. personality today how would you describe personality, your personality today. today what words would you use to describe goth today Grounded, sound, logical, um, meticulous, committed. Um, not that I wasn't any of those things in high school, but these things have now come to the fore. They have, they're you're more, yeah, you're more. yeah, they're more a part of me now. Yeah. Um, open minded. Um, I was always very open minded, to be honest. Um, I'm a critical thinker. I was always a critical thinker then too. Um, but I love picking things apart. Yes. Everything from religion comes straight back to politics, to, to work, to life, to relationships, to people. But try understand everything as openly and as objectively as possible. And let the chips fall where they may. What has marriage taught you? And this is not one of the questions. But I'm curious to hear what you think. What has marriage taught me? <laughs> Nothing else, patience. <laughs> In terms of she having patience with you? <laughs> no, 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 it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Um, let me tell you what. So nothing, nothing has happened since marriage. A lot of people go, oh, I'm getting married now, blah, blah, blah. Hey, hey, hey calm down. I <laughs> really just chill. Because what happened is on wedding day, mm -hmm. You exchange jewelry, and I'm not wearing my ring now because I changed dishwashing liquids, and then it starts started to have an effect on my finger. But if you look carefully, you'll see the mark. Anyway, it's yeah. not just marriage, but partnership. Walking partnership. life with somebody else. That's just it. What has it taught you? Patience. 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 Tolerance. Um, you will not get everything in one package. So my ideal body type and personality type aren't in my wife you understand what i mean mm -hmm. i say like 100 percent personality type 100 percent body type you know mm -hmm. what i mean no we get like both personality wise from a wife probably about 85 90 percent mm -hmm. i woman did want in our person yeah body type probably about 80 percent yeah. yeah you know the ballpark there yeah because i like them thick <laughs> more cushion full of push it <laughs> um, <laughs> the kids are sleeping right um <laughs> 
But yeah, so it really has taught me patience and tolerance. And let me tell you what happened. If you should have asked me what family teach me, you understand me? Because the patience and the tolerance that I've developed is as a result of I'm an own child, right? I'm going to live on my own for a long damn time. You see what I say? And when you live with somebody else, when you're moving with somebody else, you have to make certain types of adjustments. You know what I mean? So, like, and you have to be tolerant of other people and stuff. Especially, like, for example, like them body odor. Like, people don't want to talk about it and them something, you know. But, like, if me go to the bathroom and sit down and help myself, relieve myself, see? Mm -hmm. I can manage those fumes. Because you're. Because I'm mine. And I know I don't shit Calvin Klein. You understand me? So I'm not smell like CK1 when I come out of the bathroom. I get it. But you? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's different. It, I don't know if you remember the first time your husband farted on you in bed. And not intentionally, you know, but it wanna lie down in the bed. Say it and, and then it come bind me under that shit and lock me up underneath. Alright, so you just pulling a prank. <laughs> right? But, but you get it, naturally. Yeah. First like, time. Yeah, remember one time, my cuddle up, I'm going to just feel this warmth in another section here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I say, oh, the, hold on. And then, like, I was thinking to myself, I poop, she poop. And then, smell it, and it's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> she poop. And, like, for about a good 20 minutes, we just lay down in her bed, just a stare at that woman in her neck back. <laughs> just, just a look in her neck back. I mean, I say, the girl I just poop on me all ago. <laughs> she really poop on me all ago. Uh, I push her on the stairs. Like, uh, <laughs> nobody pops on me and gets away with it. Um, <laughs> so, all right, you know, um, part of territory because me have my time when me gets it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but I'd say the biggest lesson is patience and tolerance. Um, there are lots of other lessons, but the biggest patience. patience and tolerance. Um, and at very close second is really and truly that ability which some people have to hone that ability to separate emotional decisions or make decisions not from emotions but from logic because sometimes that which is why i got married yeah the emotions were all involved but it didn't make sense as well understood is a man because because a lot yes. of people a lot of people are married for love are married for that emotion something there and, and then now when the rubber meet the road mm. i want different something different watch it so different. so that's the very close second for me the, probably the biggest difference now though is that then I was shy. Yeah, believe it or not. We used to chat enough on them something. You wouldn't you wouldn't understand. But there are lots of things and people that I should have I think some people are past like huh? God he, shy. he said shy. Yeah, he yeah, said shy. Yeah, just, the other thing I would have advised my younger self and probably a lot of our younger selves. Mm. Um life is a series of phases. Mm-hmm. So you have to recognize, and we're not all going to evolve through these phases at the same pace. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But there comes a point in time when you really have to take more responsibility for yourself and all gone. So walk us through one of the most challenging seasons of your life. And what did you learn about yourself? <laughs> well, I hope I don't cry. Um, 